Let's do some more practice on drawing straight lines. So I'm going to jump right into it, assuming that you have watched the videos on straight lines just before this video. And so you understand the basics. And so step one, typically, is we're going to let x equal to zero. And so we tell this equation, hey, equation, x is zero. Can you please tell us what y is? And so this equation goes and it puts x as zero. And it realizes that minus 2 times 0 is just 0, and so it ends up with 4, and then it divides by 2, and it tells us that y is equal to 2. So we, we ask this machine to please tell us what y is when x is 0. So it tells us that y is equal to 2. So we can go plot that on the diagram. When y is 0, x is 2. So that would be over here, and I should put the coordinates like this, 0 and 2. That's very important. And something I want to mention is notice that this equation doesn't have y by itself. But that doesn't matter. You can still use the technique of saying x is 0 and y is 0, and then you just solve. The only time you want to have x and y, I mean, when you want to have y alone, is when someone asks you to work out or to tell them what the gradient and the y-intercept is. Because remember, we said the gradient of a straight line is this number in the front and the y-intercept is that number, but only when y is alone. So if you wanted to get y alone, you could divide everything by 2, and you would get that over there. Then we could see that the gradient is minus 1, and the y-intercept is 2. And if you wanted to, you could even draw the straight line using this equation instead. It's still going to give you the same straight line at the end of the day. But carrying on with the drawing of this straight line, so now what we're going to do is we're going to tell this equation, OK, Mr. Equation, now what if we let y equal to 0. Could you then tell us what x is? So we go into our equation and we make y 0 and we work out what x is. Well this just becomes 0 and then you move the 2x to the left so it can be positive and then you can work out x by dividing by 2 and so we end up with 2. And so when y is 0 then the then the x value is 2. So that will be somewhere over here where x is 2 and y is 0 and there we have it. Now we can draw a straight line. And so let's have another go at this one. So step one, you can just make x equal to 0. And so you tell the equation to make x 0, and then it does that, makes x 0 like that. It then realizes that this part just gives us a 0, and so you end up with y minus 4 equals to 0. To get y by itself, you take the 4 over, and so you end up with y equals to 4. So when x is 0, y is 4. So you go to that point on the diagram. When x is 0, y is 4, and that would be over here. And so we can put the coordinates 0 and 4. And then the other point we need to find, we usually just make y 0. You don't have to. Remember, we've said this a few times now, but it's just the method that most teachers use, and it just makes things easy. So we make y 0. So we go to the equation, and we make y 0, and we ask this equation, well, what is x going to be? And so you take 4 to the other side, you divide by 2, and so x is 2. So when y is 0, x is 2. And so that will be over there. When x is 2, y is 0, or when y is 0, x is 2, same thing. And then we can draw a straight line, like that.